Well, even what for the people who've read the books, now we're at a point where where the books kind of stop because there are yeah, well, supposed to be out. there are supposed to be seven books in all, only five are out, and then so the guys have to start coming up with with, yeah. with storylines. Do you think do you, do you think that matters that the that the book that the show is no, catching no. up with the books? No, uh, no, I don't. I think it's it's absolutely fine. I mean, I think it's. Uh, it's definitely going to be interesting for uh, you know the book readers mm -hmm. to watch the show, and 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 they, I mean, it's funny that now they can no longer have that whole I like little smug look at the face. I know what's going on, and then <laughs> filming their friends when like the red wedding. I love those oh, videos yeah, yeah. where they were like, mm, I know what's coming. Um, <laughs> but of course, you know uh, the creators of our show, they they you know they they talk to George R. R. Martin all the time, and they they know. You know, in, in in broad terms, where the story is, is, is going to go, how it's going to end, but the journey there, they're going to have to come up with stuff. But that's fine because it is two, you know, separate entities. You know, there's a television show, and then you have the books, and yeah. it's just different. It's fine. So, you know, talking about Jamie's complicated character, what do you think? Everyone seems to have their own game that they're playing to try to a quest they're on, an end goal. What do you think is Jamie's end game? And do you think he deserves a happy ending? There's so many things I could say now, but it's oh, it has censorship. Anyway, um, um, I think that you know, I wish that he could just. Uh, it's it's just a, a shitty family to be a part of the Lannisters. I mean, there's so much baggage, and he is so, you know, he wants to do the the honorable thing. He wants to do the right thing. He's he's you know he's you know he's the commander of the King's Guard. He. he he has so many things that he feel that he feels that he has to do, and then the the flip side, of course, is that you know I think one of the things that I like now and what's interesting with Jamie right now is that you know in season one there's a scene with his dad where he where his dad says uh, you know I need you I want you to become the man you always meant to be, and I think that's happening. It's not the guy that Tywin wanted him to become, but I think it's his own. He's he's kind of starting to you know let go of of, of 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 who he was and and just accepting that you know his father is gone he's now kind of the head of the family and he he has to step up and and there you know secrets is, can be ki killers and then I think now he's he's also stepping up to the fact that he is he has children yeah and he has to deal with that yeah so it seems like they've gotten to the point where they're going to start possibly maybe recognizing them uh, well, more so than he was before. I think, yeah. Well, we'll you, that's you we'll have to watch the, uh, the the rest of the season, but but that could be uh, uh, something. That so we'll so what's coming up for? What can you tell us about what's coming up in Game of Thrones for your character? Well, he's on his, he's he 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 just enlisted uh, Bronn to to help him on this quest, and he's on his on his way to Dorne and. Um, Obviously, that's uh, not as simple as you might have thought it would be. Mm -hmm. yeah.